brackets on brackets. We tryna get to these brackets. We flipping through all the these hits in these classics. Sometimes I don't know which one to pick when it happens. We mixing the match and we listening and tryna get brackets. Brackets. Complex brackets. Complex brackets. Brackets. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Complex Brackets. I'm your host, Brian B. Dodd Miller, and here to help us crown the ultimate hustle in the game is a guy who knows how to hustle and do numbers himself. Please welcome to Bay Area Zone, Larry June. Larry, what's good? Man, you know, doing numbers, nothing too crazy, something slight. Real peaceful, <laughs> like, right? <laughs> Real peaceful, you know what I mean? On top. Now, Larry, when I think of an ultimate hustler, I think of a person who's been able to leverage their music to outside ventures, right? But how do you define it? Man, you know, a hustler, man, do what you gotta do. Putting that work in, you know what I'm saying? Staying consistent, you know what I mean? Sticking to the plan. Right. And, and never quitting, you know what I mean? And, and putting, pushing that issue off top. You gotta stay consistent. No doubt, so you're our expert. You ready to help us crown the ultimate hustle in the game? Let's do it. All right, let's do it. Let's get it bracket. First matchup we got, 50 Cent versus Ice Cube. It's a hard one. We got two two real good pioneers in the game right here, man. I, can't, I don't know if I can know I can compare them. You know 50 Cent, a, a legend. Right. Movie, drinks, you know what I'm saying? TV shows, I don't know, man. It's, it's a, that's a tough one. You hit me with the good the good jab instantly. <laughs> the, the knockout. <laughs> Some slight, Larry. Yeah, son, very slight. <laughs> Honestly, I think they both doing a great job. They both doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? Very successful. Yep. I don't, I don't know what's in either either one of their bank accounts. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> can I crown them both? <laughs> this is going to be a quick show. We got to pick one. I, I'm going to just go with Q, West Coast. You know what I'm saying? East Coast too, man. Numbers. <laughs> <laughs> a little West Coast bias. Never heard somebody. A little California love. Ice Cube goes uh, on to the next round. Yeah, he is. East Coast for show love, too, though. Always got love for the East Coast. Next matchup we got, Kanye West versus Travis Scott. We got two great hustlers in the game, you know what I'm saying? We yep. got Kanye yep. Pioneer behind a whole lot of swag and sound music. We got the same with Travis Scott, you know what I'm saying? But you know, uh, I'll go with Kanye Okay. Good job, Kanye. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, you know, I mean, Kanye is the teacher. Travis is some ways a student, so I guess right. the teacher wins this round. How you feel about this one, Larry? Nas versus Diddy. You know, Nas is calling himself the crypto Scarface these days. Yeah, yeah, Nas is doing outstanding numbers. You know what I'm saying? Good job, Nas. <laughs> Diddy, Big Mink, topping that Chris Dale, pioneer the game. Yep. Well, this one's a tough one, but you know what I'm saying? Just from from watching the game and from being a kid and seeing everything, I, I'm going to go with Diddy. You going with Diddy? I'm going to go with Diddy. Even though I, I, think, I think Nas is a big hustler too, but you know what I mean? I feel like I just... I, I done watched Diddy more, you know what I'm saying, with the watching the TV shows. But I think they both, you know, this, this is this is a tough show, man. But good <laughs> job, Nas. Nah, good job, Diddy. But y'all, I'm, I'm going to go with Diddy on this one. You know what they say, queens get the money. But right now, Diddy run the city. So Diddy yeah. goes on to the next round. Next one we got, Rick Ross versus Slim Thug. Battle of the bosses. Man, that's that's hard, too. Slim Thug, that's the homie. Yeah. Big legend. Rick Ross, legendary, too. You know what I'm saying? Damn. See, I know you and Slim Thug have a real personal relationship. How did that start? Man, he a good dude. You know what I'm saying? You know, I with Houston Heavy. You know right. what I'm saying? Slim Thug is a legend. You know, I, I, I was hearing about Slim Thug doing the real estate, you know, years and years ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm pretty sure he got his hands in all kind of stuff. And the same with um, Rick Ross. You know what I'm saying? I'm paying attention to the game. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Big numbers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to go with my bro Slim Thug off top. Oh. Good job, Slim. <laughs> numbers. <laughs> all right. There's only one boss. And that's Slim Thug. He goes on to the next round. Next up to bat, we got Jay-Z versus Master P. Man, that's a, that's a tough one, too. These two great hustlers in the game. Yep. I feel like Master P pioneered a lot way back in the day, even coming to the Bay Area. Oh, yeah. With some of my personal family, like Herm Lewis, you know, a few of my tapes, and um, he had a crazy out-the-trunk grind. You know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. Master P? I learned a lot from um, my OGs. And... Um, they worked with Master P back in the days when he used to come out to the Bay Area. Oh, wow. But Jay-Z, man, I can't... Jay-Z the GOAT. <laughs> I'm going to go with Jay-Z off top. Off top. Good job, Jay-Z. Numbers. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. hey. <laughs> <laughs> there we have it. Jay-Z's going on to the next round. Larry, I want to get your thoughts on this one right here. Rihanna versus Nicki Minaj. Something for the ladies. Oh, yeah, you know you got to do it for the ladies one time. You know, we got two beautiful ladies right here doing numbers. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Rihanna's a billionaire now, they say. Yeah, see, I don't know the numbers. 
How about Nikki? She doing number two, right? <laughs> Absolutely. I heard something personally from one of my one of my lady friends. You know, saying that uh, Rihanna was doing like, was she doing like a, a skincare? Or yeah, Fenty, Fenty Beauty. It's all over. Like yeah. that's what, like Fenty Beauty is like the new Mary Kay Avon. Exactly. So when I when I hear when I think of Rihanna, I'm thinking of, um, her music, but also the other things she was doing too. So. But we are, we on that topic. I, I'm gonna go with Rihanna. You know what I'm saying? Just from what I what I hear, you know. And I don't, I don't look too much into nothing. So when I hear, you must be doing outstanding numbers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one time for the Beijing billionaire, Rihanna. She's going on to the next round. All right, Larry. What do you feel about hometown hero E40 versus Snoop Dogg? These are both my my good friends. You right. You know what I'm saying? And OGs and pioneers that I look up to in the game. But you know, I'm, I'm from the Bay. I'm gonna go E40 all day, man. Good job, for <laughs> <laughs> but much respect to Snoop. Snoop, Snoop, big inspiration for me, for right. sure. You know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a stick to the bay on this one and, and uh, get up the forty water for sure. That's us off top. No. What was it like growing up in the Bay Area watching E40? You know, of, of course he's doing great musically, but you know, as far as his entrepreneurial acumen goes, you know, he's been doing his thing and just watching him stay relevant in, in hip hop for all these years and still being able to come out and drop albums after so many years. <clears> you know that inspiring to me as an artist and watching them, you know, make multiple business moves and, you know, um, still reaching out to the younger cats in the Bay Area. Um, just me seeing that, you yeah. know what I'm saying, was dope for me. He, the lingo master. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's, that's, that's E-40, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I had to do that one for the Bay, you know what I'm saying? But much love to LA, too. I, I love Snoop. So of I don't course. Think that, was, that, was, that was a tough one. Absolutely. E-40 goes on to the next round. And for our last matchup in the first round, we got a spicy one. Ray J versus Soulja Boy. Well, actually, Larry, Soulja Boy was on this show, too, and he was talking about all of his hustles. Oh, my God. So y'all don't follow me on Instagram. I got a refrigerator right here full of them. I got my own lemonade. I got my own soda. I got my own, <laughs> I got my own everything. I'm the next Jay. You know what? I'm the new... I'm the new Jay-Z. Man, see, I didn't know none of that. And as for Ray J, you know, he's got the Scooty bikes. He's got Ray J Electronics. He's even got his own glasses. They're Test unbreakable. Test break them. Listen, Speedy, they're unbreakable. They cannot break. It's impossible. I would say um, on this one, Soldier Boy, only because um, he made the internet pop. And, and, and we look back in today's world, the internet is running everything. Right. But I, I feel like Ray J powerful was too. You know what I'm saying? He, he buzzed down and did his thing. And, uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm speaking for um, what's going on in the world. Everybody that know, you know what I'm saying, social media and the, the YouTubes and the the um, Apple Music. Soulja Boy, the first first one uh, doing that. He, yep. You know, we all doing numbers off that, the streaming and the, the putting it on YouTube and all that. Sh That's just for me watching his, from what he, you know what I'm saying? I know he did his right. crazy shit whatever. But uh, I'm, I'm going to show my respect to Soulja Boy on that one for sure. Ray J said he did it first, but Soulja Boy did it better. Soldier Boy goes on to the next round. And there we have it, our Elite Eight. Now, Larry, I'd be remiss if I didn't mention Nipsey Hussle, who truly lived up to his name. I mean, here's a guy who owned his masters. He sold a $100 album. He had a business in his community. Was Nipsey's Hustle something that inspired you? Man, seeing, seeing Nip do his thing was definitely inspiring. You know what I'm saying? And um, I love how he moved and how he, you know what I'm saying, took care of his people and, and showed, you know, how to do this ind independently and, and preaching it in his music and and not just talking about it, actually going and doing it, putting the stories in it in this neighborhood and still um showing love to the community. Uh I, yeah, he definitely inspired me, man. I, much love to Nipsey Hustle, man, for surely. Right. On top. One of the um the hustle masters. <laughs> Absolutely. I think you and him would have made great music together as well, you know. Man, I agree. I agree. Now speaking of businesses in the community, I know you just opened up the Honey Bear Bubble Tea shop in your own backyard. What's that been like so far? Oh man, I appreciate that, man. It's going, it's going great. It was something we did in the, um, the beginning of the pandemic. Didn't really know what was gonna happen, but sometimes you gotta take that chance, and um, it was very successful for me, and um, continues to grow every day. It's just one of my, one of my things that I do. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Working a few more locations. You know, I got CBD companies coming. I got the Midnight, Or Midnight Organic brand. Yep. We, we just keeping it rocking like cutoff stockings, man. Whatever the. Uh, <laughs> Whatever the, the next venture is, we go we go push that line too. The hustle doesn't stop. All right, let's go on to our elite eight. First up, we got Ice Cube versus Kanye West. Um, I'm gonna go with Kanye on this one. Stick with Kanye. Come on, man, this shoe's doing numbers. We got kids talking. You know what I'm saying? I, 
you know, I'm going off the numbers, man. I, and I, I don't know all the numbers, but you know, I, I feel like he made some powerful moves, and and, and he still right. he still dropping music. And but you know, it's kind of hard to compare the two. Yeah. Because you know, we got Friday. True. I look at Ice Cube. I'm like, damn, this is really like a professional. Like, you know, he's doing the movies and multiple set the, you know, but any, but he's still a family man to yeah. take care and of. And Cube has, the, you know, the three on three league, the big three. Yeah, yeah. See, I didn't even know that. You know what I'm saying? But, but um, man, that's a, that's a, that's a tough one, man. Now, at first, it seemed like you were showing Ice Cube a lot of California love, but I feel like you're leaning a little bit more to Kanye West. I mean, this guy's hustling his own live listening sessions. Exactly, and I feel like he he just stays relevant. Man, I know Ice Cube doing so many numbers I don't even know about. <laughs> but just I'm, I'm gonna go off my own knowledge. You know, I can yes. be completely wrong. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I'm not sitting here just seeing what he's doing all day. <laughs> but um, just from what I know, um, I'm gonna just I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Kanye on this one because I I feel like he made a lot of smart moves and and, and from his crazy rants and coming at the the president to, to the president and. <laughs> Still wiggling and having the best seller shoe in the game, you know what I'm saying? Wiggling into that family, you know what I'm saying? And he's still doing numbers. And, and, and you know, that's not I live up. I live by that. All know? right, Kanye West advances to the next round. Next matchup we got Diddy versus Slim Thug. Diddy, I mean, he's been in the game for over 30 years. He's helped a lot of yeah. careers. He's put a lot of businesses in different communities. He's done a lot for the game. But Slim Thug, I mean, you'd be remiss if you can't talk about the boss and mention him. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I feel the same about Slim Thug, you know what I'm saying? And uh and continuing it and doing this shit for the community and doing this multiple businesses, you know what I'm saying? But just on a from from me growing up as a kid, I'm I'm gonna go with Diddy on that one. Right. But much love to Thug for sure. That's my bro. Were you a big fan of making the band back in the day? Hell yeah, I was just thinking that's why I'm thinking about that. <laughs> thinking about it. I'm gonna go, you know what I'm saying? He made him get the cheesecake, you know what I'm saying? All right, Diddy. Moves on to the next round. All right, next up we got Jay-Z versus Rihanna. The battle of the billionaires, Larry. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just go with Jay-Z, because I, I feel the same way about Jay-Z. I feel like he, um, didn't he bring Rihanna as well? Yeah, he did. He... You gotta always pay your respects to the big dogs, man. He, um, brought life in to these, to these, these other lessons. Yeah. You know, I gotta respect that. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna go with Jay-Z on that one. Can't knock the hustle. Jay-Z slides to the left. And for our final matchup in the second round, we got E-40 versus Soulja Boy. Man, I'm gonna go with E-40 on this one. Okay, Earl Stevens. Oh, yeah. Do you drink Earl Stevens wine? Most definitely. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. good job, Earl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that crazy. Make sure you get a bottle of that Stevens. You know what I'm saying? Earl Daniels. Absolutely. All right, well, E-40 goes on to the next round. And there we have it, our final four. Now, Larry, it seems to me that hip hop, more than any other genre, the hustle mentality is ingrained into us. Why do you think that is? I feel like a lot of artists come from poverty, man. Mm, and, right. And all we know is hustle. All we know is to go get it and, and make something happen. You know, it comes out in the music, and um, man, that's what we. It's, it's a grind. Yeah. Hip hop is a grind. This ain't overnight. It, it takes years. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. It's gonna be days when you feel discouraged. We, you, you want to quit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's hitting that road yeah. two months straight and having empty shows to pack shows. That's one of the hip-hop, making it in the rap game is is not easy. And, and just that alone is, is a hustle. Right. And, uh, and even if you didn't come from poverty, you come from a, a different um, background or whatever, being in the game go teach you how to hustle For if, sure. you wanna, if you want to stay in the game. Same people bring you up, go bring you down. Right. So, um, uh, I'm putting in that work. We, we we recording. I'm gonna ride my bike, hit the weights, go check on my shop, make sure I'm getting them tapes dropping. Word. And what you do, you do it, man. Numbers. Shout out to DJ Fresh. Larry, what was one of your first hustles? Man, I've been hustling since I was a kid, man. I, I, I was I used to live in ATL. Well, I'll go Riverdale. Right. When I was like, you know, five years old to 15. I used to um I used to rake leaves, wash cars, mm. mow lines, mm. you know what I'm saying? And then when I got to the school hustle, I used to, you know, middle school, we go hit the little Costco, bust down, we selling hot Cheetos, Starburst, Skittles, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Then we, you know, high school, it always was a hustle. Right. My whole my whole life, you know what I'm saying? To, to selling CDs at the malls, handing out flyers, you know what I'm saying? To to busting down the Yeetity de flu ops, Sun Slight, you know what I mean? Well, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know what I'm saying? We all got our story, man, but all I know is keep pushing. Absolutely. Anybody listening to me, man, keep pushing. Keep 
keep hustling. It's going to be times where you want to quit. You know what I'm saying? Keep doing numbers and, and don't let nothing negative stop you from your dreams. You know what I'm saying? It, that, that's life. It come with it. It's going to be ups and downs. You got to keep rocking. You know what I'm saying? Take yep. a nap or something. <laughs> Take a nap. Well, no one's nah, sleeping man. on you. We're definitely not sleeping on you, Larry. All right, let's get into our final four. Kanye West versus Diddy. So when we say ultimate hustler, yep. I mean, you put Diddy up with a, with a lot of people that looked up to Diddy. Right. So right. it's like, it's kind of hard to, to to compare the two. For the new generation, I'm, I'm definitely going to go with Kanye. But for the game over overall, mm -hmm. I got to go mm -hmm. with Diddy again. Isn't it crazy how rappers could flip their talent into billion dollar empires? Yeah, and then you gotta, you, you're looking at people like when you you're talking about Jay-Z and Diddy E-40, you know what I'm saying? You, you talking about people who laid the blueprint for the game and right. showed us, including me, that it was possible, including, mm -hmm. you know, Kanye as well. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they gave us hope right. to do it too. So, yeah, so I'm going to just go with Diddy, man, but much respect to both of them. I think they both great. Diddy goes on to our final round. And for our final matchup in the final four, we got Jay-Z versus E-40. That's a tough one, man. I mean, Jay-Z said Oakland's just like Brooklyn. Man, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's, <laughs> it's crazy. It's the same. But I'm going to do this one for the bay. E-40. <laughs> Off top, E-40? Off top. Okay. E-40 moves on to the final round. Now, Larry, you know better than anybody, one part of hustling is making something out of nothing, right? But as an entrepreneur getting into a new venture, what's it like? Is it nerve-wracking? Is it addictive? What are the emotions like? I feel like it all depends on, on how you started and mm. the numbers. If right. you know you go do numbers and you know you gotta, if you're passionate about it, it's gonna be fun. If you're not passionate about it, it's just gonna be something um, that you're doing and, and you kind of like hoping maybe it's a work. But if you're passionate behind it, it's, it's, it's no better feeling. Yeah. Because you build something that, that nobody can take from you. You not It's not just for now. It's long term. It's for your kids. It's for your kids' kids. It's like, damn, I'm building an empire. I'm passionate about it. I'm, I'm eager about it. I'm putting that work in, and you know you're not just wasting your time because it's not something that, oh, you know what? I'm going to go sell this because they sell this. It's something that you actually believe in. Right. Because it's, it's a grind. The money not going to just come instantly. You're not going to just say, I'm going to invest 50000 and I'm going to go make a million tomorrow. No, I don't work like that. It's going to take time. <laughs> yeah. It's going to take branding, marketing, you know what I'm saying? Consistency. True. You know what I'm saying? Throughout, throughout the slow days, it might be some times where you're not making no money in your business. That's when you sit back, relax your mind, and get creative. Right. Because it's always a play. You Absolutely. know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, I feel like it, it, it all depends on how, how you feel about the project that you invest in your time into. You know, time is everything. No doubt. So what's the bigger picture looking like for you, Larry? Let's say 10, 20 years from now, right? What industries are you trying to get into? I know you said you want to get into an organic orange farm, right? Man, that's something slight. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like a Chabeline. I'm jumping into everything I can. <laughs> <laughs> but right now, you're a complex bracket, so we're going to the grand finale. And we got Diddy versus E-40. Oh, we doing the whole, we doing the whole ooh -wah. This is it. I'm gonna just go. I'm, I'm gonna go E40. I, I feel like they both great hustlers. I'm gonna just do this one for the Bay. You know for the saying? Bay. Uh, but I, I got respect for both of them. But I'm gonna do this one for the Bay. Much respect to Diddy. Much respect to everybody in the game. But this one for the Bay, man. There we Good job, Forty Water. Hometown no, love, man. According to Larry June, E40 Water is the ultimate hustler in the game. You know what? I'm not even mad at that, Larry. All right. So looking back at this bracket, Larry, we didn't include you because you're our expert, right? But how far do you think you would have advanced? I would have been at the top. You know <laughs> he was asking me. <laughs> so, Larry yeah, versus man. 40 Water, maybe? Yeah, Larry, it would have been me at 40. Absolutely. Sure. Now, before we bounce, Larry, I know Orange Print dropped in June, but what can fans expect for the rest of 2021? I mean, me personally, I'm looking forward to that project with Cardo. Man, me and Cardo done. We just finna, we just finna drop that sometime in September. Okay. And then I'm working on another, another album as well. I've been working with Turbo Beats a lot on my album. Yes. But the Cardo one next is called Into the Late Night. Oh. Me and Cardo. Cover done, music done. We just, you know, doing a little videos and, you know, sprinkling that organic. And we're going to get any more of you and Harry Fraud, DJ Fresh, you and Currency. I mean. Yeah, for sure. Me and Fraud working. And, you know, you know the dope part about working with, with Fresh and, and um, Harry Fraud and Cardo, everybody got their own sound. Yes. Everybody in their own lane and doing, and, and they all doing the numbers in their lane. So 
when I get the step in their element, mm-hmm. it's another me. When me and Harry Fry come, I'm damn near in Brooklyn. I'm, I'm in I'm on the East Coast. Man. When he turn them trucks on, I'm you know what I'm saying I might just fly out east to go record this. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> And go grab me some Jamaican food in Harlem. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, when I um when I jump in there with Cardo, I might pull a Rory out, the Grand Nas. You go to the gas station. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Sip me some juice, mac me a nice sun. You know what I mean? Sun, doo doo, sun good. You know, the good one. Right. And um and then we you know DJ Fresh too. I want to get in that that groovy, don't 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 yes. that mob, that DJ Fresh DJ. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a it's a different. It's different elements, so I'm, I'm just, I'm just going, man, and and I, I you know, I get inspired by the producers. Mm, and Fletcher, oh yeah, of course, of course. Yeah, part three, we ain't playing. I'm, I'm cooking. Yo, Larry, I'm, like I, I'm looking forward. To, I'm still waiting for Big Yacht music too, man. Man, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting. We, we everything cooking, everything cooking. You know, you know, currency probably got thirty tapes he working on right now. <laughs> so I ain't gonna put the pressure on on Big Bruh. Right. But um, it's, it's all coming, man. We, me and Currency got shit in the stash too. You know what I'm saying? Bring it, bring it. All, we're going to, we, it's coming. No doubt. Good job, Larry. Yeah, I want to thank my guest, Larry June, for joining us on this week's episode of Complex Brackets and helping us crown the ultimate hustle in the game. But what do you think? Jump in the comments to let us know and make sure you check out the description below where you'll find a playable link to this exact bracket. Just make sure you share your results using the hashtag Complex Brackets on all social platforms. I'll catch y'all next week. I'm Brian B. Miller. Rack up. <laughs>